How to create a simple shake, mask, zoom, transition and after effects. Creating this effect in after effects is quite simple. And you can apply this mask, zoom, transition to almost anything. This time, I'll use a car shot as an example. Let's dive right into the process. Firstly, you need two clips for this effect. To begin, we need to make a mask for the second clip. You can use the Roto Brush tool or the Pen tool to select the object. However, I have a faster and simpler method. Take a screenshot of the first frame of the second clip. You can do this with the FX Console plugin, which is a handy free tool. I will provide a link in the description. And sure, your preview is set to full. 10. Press Ctrl plus Spacebar. Click on the download icon and choose save to PNG for a high quality screenshot. Save it to your PC. Next, go to the remove.bg website. I will include a link in the description. Upload your screenshot and your object will be cut out and made transparent. Then, bring it back into After Effects and place it above all the clips. Place the clip a few seconds before the second clip. Select the PNG and press S to open skill. At the beginning, create a keyframe with a value of 0. Move to the start of the second clip and add another keyframe matching the video clip's size. Select both keyframes and apply each each by pressing F9. If you are not satisfied, adjust the PNG length and skill. 10. Use a graph editor for a smoother transition. Play with the skills length until you are happy, adjusting as needed with the graph. 10. Don't forget to enable motion blur for a smoother result. Now, combine the PNG and the second clip into a composition. Right click on the layers, select pre-compose. Then, add some shake effect. Well, you can use the S Shake plugin. The default shake effect in After Effects works too. I've made a tutorial on this, which I will link in the description. Apply S Shake to your composition. Then, adjust amplitude settings from 5 to 0 at the beginning of your composition for a dynamic effect. And sure, motion blur is enabled for both the effect and the composition. Adjust the keyframes, timing as needed by holding ALT and dragging. For a more aggressive shake, increase the frequency to 10. Again, make the keyframes easy ease and fine tune with the graph editor for smoothness. Consider adding some exposure to enhance effect. And that's it. You've now created a simple shake, mask, zoom transition and after effects. This is all what you need to know. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you want more tutorials like this.